Well, today, uh, faced with climate change and the inequity uh, of the difficulties for poor farmers, we need to double down. We need to more than double our investment uh, in making these innovative seeds, and particularly uh, the seeds that are publicly available. Now, agricultural researchers have new tools. Uh, these tools should allow us <clears throat> to create seeds that are more resistant to biotic and abiotic stresses, including heat, drought, uh, humidity, and pests. A good example is the great work being done by the scientists at ICRSAP, a CGIR center here in India. Uh, they've done uh, some incredible work uh, with new uh, dryland cereals and legumes uh, that are more tolerant of drought. Uh, and this is a case where these seeds are in the lab, but we have a lot of work to do uh, to get them out into the farmer's hands, particularly the smallholder uh, farmers. We also uh, see that there's opportunities to engage the private sector. You know, agriculture is always a mix of government uh, involvement and the private sector, and by getting those two to play their role in the best way possible, uh, we can achieve higher productivity. Uh, one example is, is what we can do with livestock. Uh, nations with lots of smaller farmers tend to have herds and flocks that aren't as productive as they can be. India produces more milk than any nation uh, because it has the largest number of buffalo and dairy cows. But on a per animal basis, each cow is 40% less productive uh, than the global average. Let's call that the livestock gap. Uh, the good news here is that there are companies stepping up with new technologies that can close that gap. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the internet of things, but a startup uh, here in India called Stella Apps, Stella Apps uh, that our foundation has supported are creating for cows what you might call the internet of cows. Uh, the company is based in Bangalore and it works with smallholders here in India to outfit the cows with inexpensive wearable devices. The wearables track the movements, temperature, and other indicators, and then these are all uploaded in a way that it can be analyzed and determine things about the uh, cattle health. Um, the alert sent to the mobile phone can tell a farmer which cows are ready for breeding or which ones appear to be sick. Uh, the local vet can also access that data directly, and so herds are managed far more efficiently. In fact, for the smallholders who've taken advantage of this information, on average, they've seen a 20% increase in income. 